What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Reign of Kings. So the server is actually pretty full right now. It's the day before release and there's a lot of people playing the game and so we might actually get some interesting opportunities to fight with other players and see some of the new mechanics that we've been playing around with throughout the course of the game. There's a little gap in the bottom of the wall. So here's my handiwork. This is what I did over the weekend. This is what I was working on. We've got ourselves some lovely high walls so that people can't get up in our base. We've got an iron gate which is unpickable. Nobody can get inside that so they can blow this up with explosives but that's the only way that they're getting in they can't pick it they can't do anything else with it over on this side let's have a look here I've also put an iron gate inside my house so if there's no chance that they'll ever be able to get inside unless they blow through the walls or sap through which will take a considerable amount of time I was scared of my own footsteps for a second you'll have to forgive me I was listening and we got to go into rust mode right now we got to be all ready for other people to try and slaughter us so since we're going out into a world full of other people who may be as well armed as we are Whoa, what just happened here? Hold on. That was weird. I have no idea what just occurred. I think maybe we got caught in the door that was behind us. We'll respawn at the beach and we'll go back to the base. Oh, God. That was so unpleasant in so many ways. All right, so where are we right now? All right, so we're back over here. What I'm going to do is I'll come back in just a second once I make the run back to base. For right now, we should be alright. I have verified what's causing the frame lag. It is our base. So, player-added structures tend to make the game lag out a little bit. At least that's what it's doing on my screen. I lose a considerable amount of frames, about 20 frames per second whenever I go inside my base. And that's about it. We want to be on the lookout for other players because they're going to have things that we can take from them. If they try and become king, we're going to try and fight them. This is going to be the last batch of episodes I record pre-release. It is the 10th right now at the time of this recording and probably the next three or four episodes. And what I'm going to do after that is if we come back to continue the series, I'm going to do it on a private server where I essentially invite people from the Nerdcast. I said invite. I had kind of like a weird... I don't like that when it was sans consonant. I like it with the N in there somewhere. I like when my... I like it when it has... Like, the invite has to have the in in it, because if I don't invite somebody, it just doesn't count as the same word. So anyways, back to the subject at hand. I'll probably come back with a private server. I'll post that information somewhere, maybe on the Facebook or the Twitter. Some kind of... I don't, we can only have, like, 32 to 40 people or something like that on the server. So we've got to figure out some way in order to keep that balanced out, because it'll probably be maxed out if I post the information. So, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work just yet, but I, I do know that I want to play on a private server with a bunch of people from the Nerd Castle. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And so I guess somebody has taken the throne, maybe? We may want to head over there. I'm going to try. I think the first thing on our the first thing we need to do on our docket is to get ourselves some new weapons crafted because the particular shiny pieces of steel that we're like curiously trying to kill our enemies with at the moment is not that upgraded. And so I'd like to get one that's a little bit better. We can make iron weapons. I don't know who's on the server right now. There's some people that have been cheesing keys from the developer because I know I talked to a couple people where I was like, so are you with a magazine or are you with blah, blah, blah or like YouTube or like what do you do? And they were like, oh, nothing. Just like requested keys and I just like got one. And I'm like, oh, well, probably shouldn't do that. Kind of hurts all YouTubers and, you know, people getting review keys when you do that. But all right, you know. At the same time, it's nice to have a lot of people on the server right now. I think there was 10 people when I logged on, so that's pretty much half capacity right now, which for a game that hasn't even released yet is a big deal, considering I've seen zero people the entire time I've been playing now for about a week and a half. There's been nobody I've been able to build quietly all by my lonesome without having to think about it, so there's that. Let's get back into base. We'll loot our stuff. We'll get our forge out. Once we get the forge out, what I want to do there, let me, I'm going to eat these berries too while we walk because obviously I can walk, talk, and also shove things in my mouth at the same time. That's just how talented our medieval entrepreneur is. Is he an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur of slaughter, maybe. So yeah, you'll see it right there. I almost instantaneously lose about 25 frames the second that my base comes in. That's obviously probably going to be due to optimization stuff, so hopefully... Let me get that shut. I have nightmares about waking up with people inside my base after it took me all weekend to build it. And I'm sure somebody will come around with dynamite pretty soon and just blow the damn thing up, but... Not much you can do about it. Not much you can do about it. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. I will combine the band-aid stacks. We'll collect all that. Throw that on the floor. Don't need the torches. And so now we got to go back through into our inventory. I guess I'll leave the doors standing agape for right now until we figure out... I think it's the two doors being in close proximity. When I close the one behind me, it like clipped me through the world. That's never happened. I've had these gates now for about... Well, I've had these gates for probably a good 
well, not a week, but probably three or four days now. I put in the metal gate a little while ago once I found out it couldn't be picked. And ever since then, I haven't had that happen, so that was like a one-time thing. I apologize for any online interactions that may not be quite as kosher as the content and the, you know, random language that I have on the channel. However, it's an online game, so there's not really much... Oh, he's live streaming. You know we have to mess with him now. He messed up. He messed up badly. It's time to mess with this dude. All right, so let's find our forge real fast. Go get ourselves some weapons. We'll go jack somebody real quick and see if we can take some stuff from him. I'm not going to use the mace right now. Where's my forge at? Where's... Oh, it's it's a bellows now. It's a bellows. All right, we'll go over here. And I have plenty of iron. I have lots of goodies that I brought along with me. Can I still not fit this? See, it's a little bit finicky about indoor placement still, which is a fact that, like, bothers me a little bit. Let's see here. All right, well, I'll just put it right there. And then let's take a look and see what iron weapons we can make out of here, because if we're going to go into a fight, we want to make sure that we're equipped in such a way where our enemies are not a threat to us, but simultaneously we are a threat to them. So, melee weapons. We've got 19 melee weapons up in here. We've got steel battle axes and things like that. I still have no clue where you get steel items from. Haven't been able to track them down. We can make an iron sword. There's an iron star mace, which does 9 damage. Is there any, like, iron battle axe or anything? There's a steel flanged mace. Great swords. So we can't make great swords out of iron, though? Interesting. So I guess what I'll do right now, then, is we'll make the iron star mace. It requires some wool and some iron ingot. So let's jump in on that. Let's see here. Iron ingot. Wool. All right, we won't be able to DPS people too hard, I guess. I was hoping the iron weapons would do like 12, 13 damage. But I guess, oh no, there's iron halberds and stuff. Well, which are be Oh, the battle axe is super good. Maybe I should do the iron or the battle. Do you want to do the battle axe or do you want to do a halberd? I think I'm going to go with a battle axe for right now. Battle axe sounds pretty G, so let's get that thing going. We got a battle axe crafted, so that's now in our inventory. Let my get let me get my bow all ready to go. We'll probably try and make, since we got the bow ready to go, we're going to let flow as many of these projectiles as we can throw when we see a person. I'd like to get the jump on them, though. Let me move all this stuff up to the top of my inventory so that it's sorted out and it's not all over the place. And let me drop a few things up inside of storage so that if we die, we don't lose too much valuable stuff. So we got ourselves some band-aids. We got four, we got three, there it is. We got all of our tools. I really would prefer not to go out and get killed right now. It would it would please me greatly to not die. I need to make myself some more arrows too. So let me grab my Fletcher right now. Let me keep that. And then we'll go through. We'll drop this on down. We'll probably skip through the night because I don't think we're gonna have a whole lot of opportunity to kill people in the dark. The other thing that I wanted to do is we need to make some chains, some shackles, and some ropes so that we can capture these guys. So maybe I'll make a couple of cages in here too so that if these guys try and mess with us, we can beat them up, we can like chain them up, and then we can put them inside the stockade or whatever and hold them prisoner until they log out. I'm a dick like that. I just am. So we can make better bows if we wanted to, but for right now, I think I'll stay away from that instead Opting just to make myself some new projectiles. So for the iron-tipped arrows, I'd rather just go with stone-tipped. I feel like it's easier to get the supplies for stone-tipped. So we'll need feathers. And did I put stone inside the box over here? I think I might have put stone inside the box. That might be what went wrong. Yep, stone's inside the box. And so there's our fetters. All right, now that we got our fetters and our stone all up inside our inventory, they're flapping around inside of our bag happily. Come back over here and let me get some arrows crafted because I've been out over the course of the last day or two and I just... Haven't had time to fill the order. Make as many as we can hold. I think it's crafting right here. Okay, so lightning has vacated the ancient throne. If we can claim the throne right now, that'd be pretty G2. Like, it would not be something that I would turn down. I would love to have our own throne. This is the nerd castle, after all. And while I've always considered myself to be kind of like maybe a, a duke, maybe it's like the duchy of the nerd castle, turning it into an actual kingdom through intrigue, destruction, and annihilation seems pretty awesome, too. So we'll give that a go in just a second. Got a hundred arrows right there. They stack in hundreds, huh? Well, I guess I can make that work. And then we got some wood arrows for extra just in case we need it. All right. Nobody can get inside our base. There's a bird trapped inside our wall. Hooray! Let's see what we can do here. We'll grab that right there. 
throw the stone up inside our inventory. We've got enough weapons right now to where I think we can make this work. I've got food. I've got water. Let me get that kitted up so that we're ready to go. That was one of the downsides to dying is that now we have to shove a bunch of meat in our mouth in order to make our sustenance back up and running. There we go. Apparently, people are making threats right now, so it's going to be on very, very shortly. I'll come back once morning gets here, and it's time to go manhunting. How does that sound? I'll see you there. All right, so I came back because actually we've got a better plan right now. I'm going to put that away for a second. I made ourselves a gibbet cage or a gibbet cage or whatever the hell you call it. I don't know. It's a big-ass cage that we shove human beings into there. I'm going to take this down to its simplest form, but we need to hang it up first because it was a lot bigger than I thought it was. I may have overdone this with regards to style and substance. Like, I thought that the cage was going to be, like, moderately sized. And then once the cage was actually crafted, I was like, holy shit, that's a big cage. How the hell am I going to fit this in my house? And then I was like, eh, I don't think the wife would like it anyways. I mean, we don't have one right now, but maybe someday when we do, the wife won't like it when there's, like, screaming, dying peasants, you know, hanging up in her living room. So maybe we'll figure out a way to fix this properly. Let's get the fire lit so that we can work here. And now... Put those blocks in our inventory. Okay, so the blocks are in our hot slots. Let's figure out how we want to do this now because I really don't have much of a plan. Let's go put that right there. Go up by one. You can climb double spaces, but sometimes it's weird. So I would just recommend doing this if you're trying to get up on top of your walls. And so now that we're up on top of the wall, my goal at this point was to do something like this. And so we'll put up a big structure right here. And the only way for this to truly work... And how big is this cage? Alright, don't laugh. This was an accident. Look at the size of this cage. This thing is enormous. And you could basically stick it off like anywhere that you want. But yeah, this thing is huge. I tried to put it in my house, which was a laugh. That thing wouldn't fit in there. And so what I need to do now... You need to get this to work, though. We have to. This has to work by the end of the episode. And so if we have that right there, it's not going to look like much. But I think it might work. So... How's that doing right there? How's that looking? Is that still not enough? It might need a bigger... See, I can't see how far down to the ground it goes or if it's being impeded by this over here. Let me get... Ah, I don't have enough space. Damn it. Why is my inventory always so full? Why are we so blessed with loot? This is unfortunate. Let me throw... Oh, good. We can combine those stacks. Yes, that works. Let me get that out of there. Combine stacks with the flags. Get the iron off our backs. There it is. We got wood arrows that we no longer need, but we can use those a little bit later. Instead, let's go back to building our cage because we've got people to capture and, like, individuals to rough up. They logged out. Like, five people just logged out, so the server might be dead again. I don't know. Let me see if maybe I can give this some, like, support structure or something so it doesn't fall over. The last thing I need is for people to getting, be getting wounded falling off of my imprisonment objects. So yeah, it needs to be a little taller. Let's jump back up on our little Mario block construction over here. Alright, make sure you remove the blocks too, because if you don't remove them, they go permanent after a while. And it's just like, ugh. It becomes an issue. Now you can't jump in place in this game, which is going to make this sort of... Odd. I apologize for the darkness right now. I can't really see either. So I'm going to take this up as high as possible so that we can finally... Okay, so how are we looking from right there? That's a little bit better. Maybe take it up like one more for safety's purposes. I mean, I don't know how safety applies when you're suspending somebody way up in the air by an iron cage. However, I suppose we should make sure that they don't fall and wound themselves at some point. Okay, so let me get rid of that. But we can do this right here. Okay, so that works. So now that we're down, I may need to put in more blocks just to build right there. Yeah, we did. Okay, and so we'll scoot this back slightly. All right, so there it is. Somebody could, I, I guess, potentially fire arrows at this thing until it falls over. That might work if they were trying to destroy it because their friend... Oh, we got it now. There it is. So we're hanging this thing up right this... It doesn't seem like it would need to be that high up off the ground, but I guess that works for the moment anyways. God, it looks like such a lovely hamlet until you put a giant torture murder cage inside of it. The second there's a torture murder cage in anybody's house, nobody wants to come over for dinner or tea anymore. It's unfortunate, too, because I feel like I make really good tea. I'm going to leave my 
I don't know if I should make a better bow. Eh, whatever. Where's this weapon at? Where's this weapon at? Yeah, there it is. That does not, that's a janky ass axe, by the way. It looks a little odd, but then again, I don't know. The head of it looks like an angry squirrel. That's what I'm calling it from now on. We have crafted ourselves the angry squirrel. So, let's go out and Mirage, shall we? I think this is going to be pretty awesome. That has a whole different meaning. I know a guy named Mirage. He's Finnish. But anyways, I know a guy named Mirage. And when you say you're going to go out and Mirage, it's not spelled like Mirage as in Marauders. It's spelled M-U-R-A-D, as I recall. But let's see here. We'll throw. I don't want to carry around too much stuff with me just in case people prove to be better combatants than I think they are. Because that's always possible. I am bad at video games after all. So this may not work out the way that I want it to. We'll close the gate. I'm hoping that there's rules so that nobody can build on a pre-existing structure that another player has built. Because right now walls would be kind of pointless and have no function if you can just like stack blocks along the sides of them and then jump over. So I'm kind of wondering how that works or if that's something that's even been looked at by the developers. But we'll have to figure it out a little bit later. Let's go find some humans to just like bother and maybe troll a little bit or get ourselves killed in the process. Because I know I've seen, oh we needed to make chains so we could drag them back. We could slap them in irons. Unfortunately, we don't have those. So let's go over here. Let me throw this. Alright, hold on. Game off. So how do we, what restraint devices do we need? Let's see here. Equipment? Is that what I'm looking for? Ah. Yes, iron shackles are exactly what I'm looking for. It may do us well to keister a stone, too, just in case. Or maybe use one of our diamonds to make a lockpick and throw that in an orifice. Just in the off chance one of our enemies has torture devices just like we do. Please don't get stuck in the door again. This double door is like one of the worst mistakes I ever made. There we go. Alright, so where are those diamonds at? I know I got them in here somewhere. Where is the diamond? There is the diamond. We got the diamond. Alright, we got the iron. Okay, so we're gonna make like a couple things of chains. Because I feel like that's a good plan. Because if we can't imprison our neighbors, what kind of neighbor would we be? That's how all good neighborly relationships start out with imprisonment. And so we'll go with some chains right here for slapping people in irons. We'll make two of them. I don't know how many people we're gonna be slapping in irons, but hey, I don't want our hands getting chafed from all the slappage that's taking place. Slappity slap slapper. And then we've got lock picks. And since I've got the stuff to make both of them, I might as well now, I guess. And so can I keister those right there? Oh, I can. Okay, so you can keister the lockpick. If it's in your orifice, as I understand, it means that they can't actually get it off you when you die. It's not free loot for once you've been killed. So let's go find some people to abuse. Off we go. I don't know if we're going to find anybody to abuse, but I got, a pretty, I got a pretty good idea where they might be at. I've seen a couple of bases being built over the last day or so. And so I'm going to head out there. I will come back. Actually, we'll just walk it real fast because the episode is pretty close to the end anyways. The place we're going to be going is if you look at the big statue over there, there's that hillock. Off to the left, down the hill, some guy has started building a base out of both mud and kind of like hedgerows and stuff like that. We'll go down there. We'll see if he's there. He might be in his sleeper. I think he's actually been sleeping out in the forest. A decent idea, which you may want to consider, is sleeping at the bottom of lakes and stuff like that because I think most people don't consider it. You do leave a sleeper in the game as we saw in one of the previous episodes. If you don't know what a sleeper is... A sleeper essentially just means that every time you log out, your character is still in the game world sleeping in a sleeping bag, which means if somebody wants to come along and mess with you, they can. That is well within their parameters if they feel like doing it. So anyways, I just want to get a prisoner. That's all that I care about. By the end of this episode, if we don't have a prisoner, I'm going to be disgusted with myself. I'm going to be like, you, you need to get a better haircut, you YouTuber bastard, you, because you don't have a prisoner who you have forcibly live, forced to live inside of a big iron cage. And so let's, I like these rivers right here. I like, oh, Mikey left. He knows we're about to go out and capture fools. He knows that it's on. See, people don't want to play anymore once they know that it's on. Once they know that it's on, they just leave. They'll be like, nope, I prefer it off. Click, and they log out, and that's all there is to it. I'm um, probably, let's take some high ground over here and see if we can spot any campfires. You can see campfires from a redonkulous amount of distance away. Like, seriously, you can see them all the way across the entire map. So, if you're trying to keep your location clandestine and away from your fellow players, I would strongly recommend that you put out all light sources before you log out. Maybe even put out the light sources when you're out adventuring or doing whatever it is that you find to be enjoyable throughout your meanderings in nature. For right now, though, I've noticed that a lot of people tend to log out because they start to make iron or whatever with their smelter, and then they log out like you can rob a lot of iron because very few people actually protect it. They're just trying to move up the tech tree and get to armor and weapons, which is understandable. I get that, so there's our guy right there. You can see him from here. So, yep, you want to watch out for campfires. That's the best way to locate other little covens of players. So, for right now, 
Let's mark a heading, okay? So the heading is right there. We're just going to walk straight, and we're going to come back in the next episode once we've actually closed in on this locality. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Reign of Kings. Off to a rough start today, but we've got all the basic things we need in order to get the job done. So in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves into a melee fight, and then B, on top of that, we'll be able to get ourselves some prisoners, maybe throw them in a torture device, or, you know, a pillory or something, or just have a little bit of fun torturing our fellow player. I'll see y'all later. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here today in Reign of Kings. I do, everybody.